Hi, this is Skylar Pond. I'm a sports medicine chiropractor and owner of Excellence Chiropractic. Today we're doing the fifth part of a five-part series on uh, preparation for your soft tissue for sports performance. Okay, so we've already worked all the way up from days before to immediately before to during, and now let's talk about what you do right afterward. And basically right afterward, now you've kind of moved on preparing for the next and recovering from the last. So two elements really co cover uh, recovering from the, what you just did. One is active ranges of motion of the muscle that was involved. I know right after you do something really challenging, you just want to flop on the ground. As soon as you can, you want to get up and actively pump that muscle, just working new oxygen into the blood, uh, moving lactic acid along. Um, a lot of the soreness that you get after workout isn't actually from lactic acid buildup, but it's not doing you any favors accumulating there anyway. So just some active range of motion be useful there. And this is when you can actually do um, isometric stretches if you so choose as well. You can start doing those right afterward, um, holding longer stretches because you don't necessarily need all that peak strength at the time. Um, now you can also get into, uh, after you've recovered a little bit, now you have 5-10 minutes before you leave the gym, now you can get into actually working some strengthening capacity for the stabilization, whatever weak links that you have along the way. Now again we're staying on a shoulder theme, so we'll stick with that. What I'm going to show you is the three part shoulder um, strengthening stabilizing routine that I use. I have a, a torn labrum in my shoulder, so this is relevant for me. So this, this has helped me quite a bit. What I do is I take three common moves, I stack them all together. so that they're challenging, they're dynamic, and I don't get bored with it like I do with a lot of stabilization exercises. So what we're going to do is we're going to mash together three things. We're going to mash together the arm bar, the Turkish get up, and the windmill. And we're going to do it like this. We're going to start off with three arm bars. My emphasis is going to be pulling my shoulder down in midline. It's going to be keeping my hand over the top of my shoulder, and it's going to be avoiding extending my hip. You'll see that I'll be doing all these things, and I'll be reminding myself the whole time to, to knock it off. I chose the weight appropriately. Um, that'll be challenging for me. Um, so I'll be fighting with that. Then I'll do a Turkish getup. Once I'm up there, I'm going to do three windmills. And then I'll do the, the, the progression back down to the floor. I'll close out with three arm bars. I usually do these a lot slower, but I don't want to make you sit there and watch me do slow arm bars. That's not good television. So I'll move through this pretty quickly and uh, wrap it up. Okay, so here it goes. I'm gonna do it with a, a 54 today. Um, this is a reasonable weight. You, can, you should only go ahead here if you can maintain a good slow tempo, perfect form all the way through. Some days I can, some days I can't. We'll see how it goes. So the first thing you do is retract that scapula blade, pull it into midline, and initiate here. I'm going to drop my knee, go onto the top of my foot, pull my shoulder blade down, watch my low back start to extend on me. Hold that for a little bit. And like I said, I'm going to move through this a little quicker than I usually do. I usually hold that second one until it starts to wobble a little bit. I feel like once it starts to wobble, that's really the whole point. That's why you do this to work your stability capacity. You can see my, my muscles start to twitch a little bit, gesticulate a little bit in my shoulder. That's what I'm trying to get done. So after I got three of those, up I go. Windmill's usually pretty easy, but if you held those arm bars long enough, you can start to feel a little bit challenged, a little bit desperate as you do these. So make sure you pick that weight right. At this point, you kind of have to assess, do you have the juice to keep going? And if you do, just close that as you can. With three more here. It's a lot harder using the top of your foot like this, so only do it if you're really comfortable with your weight. Otherwise, stay on your knee like this. Just focus on your low back, not extending, keeping your shoulder out of your jaw. Keep your hand away from your shoulder. All right, you can see I'm a little out of breath, so I'm gonna cut this off. Time for some random anatomy. This is your AC joint, clavicle, acromion, and right in here, this is the facet for the attachment and articulation of the clavicle. 